Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at what's new in Oxygen 4.6. Oxygen 4.6 was primarily a bug fix and polish release, but we do have a few kind of neat new additions included. The first enhancement I want to show you is the ability to set custom tags on repeaters. And to illustrate this, I've quickly set up a custom post type called recipe. I've created a recipe with an ACF repeater field for listing my ingredient names and quantities. Now in the template that renders this post type, I want to list those ingredients as an actual HTML list. Previously, this would have involved some custom code, but now we can simply use Oxygen's repeater to do that. So let's drop in a repeater. And you can see right here, we have the ability to choose the tag for our actual repeater container. So we can choose from the normal ones here in the dropdown, or we can use a custom tag and do something like UL. Now we need to adjust our query, of course, to use the ACF repeater. So we'll choose that repeater, and then we'll go in and select our repeater div. We'll also need to change its tag to LI. And now we can add some dynamic data. First, let's insert the ingredient quantity, which will be under repeater field here. We'll drop down and choose ingredient quantity, insert. We'll add a space right after that and then insert the ingredient name. So again, we're choosing the repeater field and ingredient name. Let's insert that. Now, if we save this and look on the front end, let's refresh. And we scroll on down, we now have an actual unordered list created dynamically from a repeater. You can see in the markup here, we have our UL and LI structure. So you're getting proper semantic HTML for these types of use cases out of the repeater. So anytime you need the repeater to have a different tag, you can now do that. So this should help with accessibility and implementing more appropriate markup when you're doing things like lists. Now, the other thing we did was we added a lazy load option for the gallery. So let's drop a gallery in here and I'll just show you how to find that. Let's go to layout. Note that the lazy load option is only available for the masonry and grid layout options. So let's choose masonry and then back on primary, we'll have this lazy load option. This will cause all of the individual images in the gallery to only be loaded once they're about to come into the viewport. And we added the same exact thing for video elements. So we drop in a video and now we have this lazy loading option. So both of those combined should help you a lot with performance on sites that are media heavy. Let's get rid of this gallery here and then we'll talk over some of the other changes we've made. 4.6 was a big kind of behind the scenes update. As you know, we've been transitioning Oxygen from shortcodes to JSON, and this release involved a lot of behind the scenes cleanup of our old code that was dependent on shortcodes. This is a very slow and steady type of transition so that we avoid any major issues as we implement it, but 4.6 moved us much further along in that process. To be clear, Oxygen now uses JSON and has since Oxygen 4.0, but the shortcodes have been kind of running alongside the JSON, and that's what we're kind of working on cleaning up behind the scenes. We also added support for a WP CLI command for Cloudways to allow them to update Oxygen with their safe updates feature. And one kind of performance related change is that we set a default preview dropdown limit. That's the limit that you can set in Oxygen settings that tells Oxygen how many posts to load in the previewing dropdown when editing a template. On sites with lots of posts, this could sometimes result in the query that returns those posts being pretty big. So now you can go to Oxygen settings and see that the preview dropdown limit is going to be at a reasonable setting by default. So that's not everything we did. You can find a full change log in the release blog post. After this release, we'll be getting back to small feature releases, which we believe help us achieve a really nice cadence where we can put out a release fairly frequently, which allows us to stay on top of bugs while still improving oxygen at a steady pace. I want to say thank you to everyone who downloaded the betas and RC for this release cycle and helped us test and reported bugs. And again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. That's what's new in Oxygen 4.6. And thank you for watching.